OK, cylinder head off the Alteza now and it becomes immediately apparent why we have no compression whatsoever on cylinders 2 and 3. If we look at cylinder number 3 we can see that one of the valves is stuck way open. Now we know there's something seriously wrong up top here because these valves don't normally intrude that far into the cylinder. This guy is way in so the valve is obviously bent the fact that it's staying open. We look at the other cylinder where we had no compression and there's something wedged under the seat of the valve holding it open. That's why we had no compression. But where did that piece of metal come from? Well we need to go back to cylinder number 3 and try to get a look in with the light and it's a bit difficult to see on this video but um, actually inspecting it in real time we noticed that the valve guide was broken. The, valve, the top of the valve guide was actually damaged. So what appears to have happened is something caused the valve to drop into the cylinder. Either a broken valve spring or one of the collets let go. The valve dropped down into the cylinder, got clattered by the piston, the valve got bent and is now wedged open, but when it got bent the valve guide was damaged and the broken piece was induced into the other cylinder. Right, so we're back looking at the other side of the cylinder head now and we can see we have the two buckets off and we can see the offending cylinder here where the collets have actually worked their way loose and that's what caused the valve to drop and then the valve got clattered by the piston I reckon got knocked sideways because you can see the angle on the valve and that would have broken a chunk off the valve guide and then the valve guide would have got sucked out in the manifold on different strokes and ended up in an adjoining cylinder where it wedged open one of the valves. So that's why we were getting low compression on cylinder 2 and cylinder 3. So there we can see what a valve head should look like. There's the collets in place. And here we can see this one here where the collets have come astray. Allowing the valve. Okay, so we're back now at the offending uh, valve and we're going to take off the, we've taken off the bucket now, okay, take off the cover. We're going to have a look at the valve springs. Okay, so whip out the spring. And the spring is coming out in two halves. So this is what it looks like has happened. The valve spring broke. We lost all control of the valve, the valve dropped down into the cylinder the piston come up and clattered the valve, the valve went sideways, broke the valve guide a chunk of the valve guide got into the inlet manifold, was sucked out and sucked into an adjoining cylinder and the rest is history that was our low compression on cylinders 2 and 3